everybody, my name is Christopher Saunders, and this is the Connecticut Sports Talent Show, where we talk all things talents in Connecticut. And on tonight's show, I'm pleased to have the starting shortstop for Newtown, but she can play all over the diamond, or in this case, the softball field. Madison Thosen, she's a sophomore in place for a Newtown team that not only is ranked in the top five, last time I checked, as far as for softball, but also is undefeated in the SWC and has an opportunity to be able to make some massive history. I had the pitcher on about a month ago and she's been doing extremely well. Not surprised by that, but I'm pleased to have on Madison. Thanks so much for being able to come on. Of course. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm so excited. You know, it's great to be able to, to talk to various players, especially around the state, but it's also good to be able to get multiple players from the same program and Newtown mm -hmm. has been a program that has tagged me a lot on videos, mainly of like mm -hmm. highlights. And I mentioned in my tweet earlier today that we're running out of adjectives for you because it seems like <laughs> everything you've done this season, it's like every game, you do something that is just beyond what other people have seen. Thank you. You know, and it's 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 just great to be able to see that. Now, before we mm -hmm. get into the season itself, uh, just kind of give me, you know, a little bit of a synopsis as far as kind of what brought you to the game of softball. Honestly, I would have to say my dad, he's my biggest influencer, you know, I have a ton of family that back me up. I have my grandfather, my pop, I call him. And my dad is the high school baseball coach. He's the varsity. And he's been with me ever since I've been little. He's always been my coach. And he's, I would just say, just an amazing coach. You know, he's, I've always had my bad days. He's always been there for me. And I'm on and off the field with him. I'm always doing lessons with him. And that's just, it's just built up my confidence. Like that's why I'm here today because of him. So was he one, you know, think about when you were younger, was he someone mm -hmm. that kind of allowed you to go to the game of softball or baseball if you were playing at a younger age? I mean, yes. It, it sounds like he didn't really, because again, not to say all parents do this, but some really mm -hmm have their child be able to play a sport and it seems like mm -hmm. baseball is your father's sport so yes. to me and again I could be wrong here but it seems like mm -hmm. he did push it on you said hey if you want to play go mm -hmm. play is that kind mm -hmm. of right there? I mean I like he does lessons and I've always been like influenced by watching how he coaches little kids mm -hmm. and by watching that I was kind of like hey like you know I want to try this let's see if I'm maybe decent at it, or if I can like get lessons from him and that's just kind of how, how it all started so when you were just beginning to swing a bat and mm -hmm. just had to throw and such, do you remember some of the things that your father was saying? Because I'm sure he was giving you tough love, especially yes. his daughter. I mean, at first, I didn't really know how to hold the bat. So it was like, it was kind of interesting. But he always told me, have confidence in yourself. You know, if you make an error, like, so what? Put it in the back of your head. Like, you'll get another chance. There's always another chance. He just always told me to be confident and not, not only be confident in myself, but in my teammates, because I also have to be trustworthy with my teammates, too. You know, I could share the fact of not being able to hold the bat because I just started golf and I went to the driving range for the first time. Oh, really? I actually was holding the, the, the you know, I was holding it right as far as the golf club. My swing, though, because you know what? I'm so used because I played baseball through college. So mm -hmm. I still have that baseball swing and the finish. Yes. So it's hard to break that routine. But I see what you're saying as far as for mm -hmm. softball, where you want to be able to, you know, and I'm sure you were like, I want to get this the first day. Yes. yes. Same thing as my, my buddy told me yesterday, you're not going to become Tiger Woods. You mean you're not going to be Tiger Woods, period. But you're mm -hmm. not going to be, you're not going to have the swing down. It's repetition. It's going through a mm -hmm. thousand, thousand, two hundred, whatever. Many exactly. Times. For you, when you were young, how difficult was it to go through? Because softball and baseball, mm -hmm. you fail more than you succeed. If you fail seven out of 10, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. You're hitting 300. But mm -hmm. how tough was it for when, you know, you were younger to go through those failures and know that comes with the game? Definitely. It was harder for me to process it, especially like, like you said, the young age. And because I wanted to get things down quick. Like I wanted to be on top when I was younger. And of course, since I was little, that wasn't going to happen. But over the years, I learned that when you fail, it's only going to build you stronger for the years coming. So definitely it was, it was difficult for me when I was younger. Yes. Was there anything as you were kind of going through those progressions where either maybe a coach, at, you know, when you were younger, mm -hmm. your father said, Hey, there, there's something there, either maybe the way you swung the bat as the reps came on, mm -hmm. maybe maybe the fact of just how the game looked easy to you, it looked smooth, mm -hmm. just took refining. Was there anything mm -hmm. that you could pinpoint? Um, 
I think definitely just the repetition of all it. I just loved like, I don't know, just like being there, you know, just, um, I would say definitely just being there, just the constant like repetition. I learned over the years that being there, like this is where I wanted to be and everyone there was who I wanted to be with. And that's kind of just how it was. Now, when we consider kind of the game of softball, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody, I feel like when they're younger, and same thing for baseball too, you, mm -hmm. you try to be, you know play as many positions as possible. Yes. Because you just never know, unless unless you're left-handed like me, where there's only three positions. Although in yeah. softball, <laughs> it's much different. I've seen left mm -hmm. first time I called a softball game, there was a left-handed catcher. And I was like, really? yeah, it was it was for a college mm -hmm. team. I know it was down in Hartford Trinity. I forgot who they were playing. Really? Yeah, but the opposing team mm -hmm. I was is this normal and it was it was funny i was actually yeah. a catcher it was my first position i tried catching yeah. and it didn't go that well i think i'm pretty sure i quit after maybe the first week i, I couldn't do it really so so mm -hmm. again giving respect to catchers who have a tough job mm -hmm. yes I, I give so much credit to them i, I can't spot for that long so when you were playing other positions i'm assuming that you were mm -hmm. Besides mm -hmm. now with you playing shortstop with Newtown, mm -hmm. are there other positions that you played that you felt comfortable when you were coming up? Um, Definitely third base. And I got used to second base a lot more. And I was a little bit first baseman, but I, I would say not as much now, but definitely third and second I've gotten most comfy with. You know, again, playing shortstop, mm -hmm. you know, multiple positions, playing third. Exactly. Second, I've always believed the shortstop is the most, no offense to other positions, but mm -hmm. if you're playing short most athletic you know player on the field because you have mm -hmm. to, be able to cover especially in softball and i the last time i've checked they haven't banned shifting yet in softball so you have to be mm -hmm. able to cover a lot of the the territory exactly so and i give a lot of credit to uh, brie to brie pelicone because i yeah. look up to her she's one of my favorite people and when she was the shortstop i used to watch her i used to watch how she played all of that because like she's just such an amazing player i mean in field wise and now she's our catcher for Sid and so I just I just I've always looked out for her I've always just looked up to her all that when you first entered or rather got into Newtown right so you're mm -hmm. a freshman and I'm sure you knew a little bit about the program yes what was some of the how do I put this the jumping points as far as the school and just kind of what were the expectations with the program I think definitely um I feel like I was not put like pressure on me, but I felt the need that I had to like, kind of like match like the energy or like my playing level to the other players. And for me, I honestly like the pressure because it makes me want to like be better. And um, I mean, our coaches are great. As soon as like they welcomed me onto the team, it was like just a very good program and all the girls welcomed me. And I just, I mean, I just, I just felt welcomed on that team. Like I, of course I was nervous when I walked in, like, especially as a freshman, I didn't really know that much people, but after the first week, like my anxiety was gone. I just, I felt like I was really part of the team. And with you being able to have that comfortability, right. Cause that's mm -hmm. you be able to have, exactly. that allows you to be able to take a deep breath and being able exactly. to, exactly right. So as you were kind of going through that, what mm -hmm. were some of the biggest, uh, biggest I guess proponents or rather uh people who kind of were helping you with that was it the mm -hmm. coaches players anybody that you want mm -hmm. to give a shout out to really quick about? I would say um obviously the coaches and definitely Caroline Gardner she's I'd say one of my best friends she's a senior now which I'm really sad about because I don't want her to leave but she as soon as I walked in because we did the winter league I don't know it's the Danbury Dome we used to play before and as soon as I walked in, she was like one of the first people that came up to me. She's so excited to see me. And definitely all like Brianna again, Sid again, just all the girls, just very, very lovely people to be around. And I just, I was just so happy. Like I felt like I was wanted there. So then I wanted to be there. It sounds like to me, and again, I, I mentioned this to you before we started, mm -hmm. how this team seems like it's a lot of young players, right? Yes. It sounds like to me that this team has the makings of something where not just sustainability for a couple of years, mm -hmm. but the fact that this this team is so close-knit. It sounds like you yes. have grown up with this team going I back did, to yes. younger days. Talk to me about mm -hmm. that. So like I mentioned, um, some of the freshmen who are now, I play on CT Thunder, the 18-year program, were from like um all the towns and 
Addie Cordova, Lila Kusti, and Gabby Ainsman, they're all part, they are all part of the Thunder. And before the regular season for high school started, we had like a little winter workout program and they were all there. So we all got even closer before the high school season. And Bree, we sadly didn't play on the same travel team, but I would have loved to play with her. I've known her since we were little, just like passing each other like softball games. And Sophia Caruso, who is our third baseman, she's an amazing player, amazing hitter, just all around. She's one of my closest friends. She plays for the Seahawks and we are actually pretty, pretty close too. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So with all of the talent that you have played with on the travel team, and I feel mm -hmm. like travel team baseball for baseball and softball is huge because mm -hmm. you not only get to show your talents, but you also mm -hmm. get to potentially be teammates with your high school teammates, which is exactly you were for a couple of them. Mm -hmm. um, having that, how how crucial is that? Because not to take anything away from high school, mm -hmm. but the summer is so different for a multitude of reasons mm -hmm. i feel like the competition is let's be honest it's a little bit higher more consistent as yes. far as teams talk to me about that because that is crucial for the development mm -hmm. of players and also a program too mm -hmm. so definitely like talking about like swinging wise hitting wise pitching wise all that i'd say summer has been like a big hit for me you know we are right now we're traveling down to like Maryland, all that stuff. And being able to go to showcases, showing off talent to different colleges, it's very, very big, especially coming back for high school. Like you want to be able to have those reps playing against teams like Massick, Ludlow, all those teams, because they may not be provided sometimes during high school, but when you're doing stuff on the off season, it will benefit you for the high school season. So speaking of the high school season, let's look at this season, you know, mm -hmm. the team is undefeated. You just mm -hmm. won, I think, against Chapog, won nothing. Yes. And Chapog, very good team. They, I think, mm -hmm. have an opportunity to be able to make some history in Class S. Um, yes. Talk to me about kind of what's been going on with this new town team since the last time I checked in about less than a month ago. Mm -hmm. So I think, honestly, we have such a big shot for SWCs. You know, we're all confident with it. And, um, I mean, we've been on a win streak, and I'm hoping to keep it going because we should keep it going. And... You know, we have such good energy and we're getting hit after hit. You know, Sid's just pitching amazing. It's like she probably won't even need an infield. She's pitching so good. And we're always just there to back her up. You know, it's just we're just doing amazing. I'm so proud of everyone on the team. But, you know, again, not to take anything away from what Sid is doing, but let's mm -hmm. be honest, there's there's times where the ball will be put into the infield, right? The ball yes. gets into the play and you need mm -hmm. to have that defense around. And I mm -hmm. think. Sid would agree if she was on this, you know, episode, yes. right? I think she would say, Hey, if I didn't have a defense to be able to have the trust, mm -hmm. it takes away being a former pitcher, not mm -hmm. having the trust in the defense kind of almost makes you have to do more because you yes. want to avoid errors or putting the ball in play mm -hmm. if it happens. But mm -hmm. she knows that she's got, she's got defense behind her that can make plays. And mm -hmm. talk to me about kind of that third, second, yourself, mm -hmm. first, all that. So we do have a pretty solid defense, and especially I give a lot of credit to our outfielders. We have Julia Barry in right field. We have Rachel Casagrande in center. We have Noel Morazzo in left. And Julia is one of the fastest people I've ever met. She's diving for plays. Rachel's diving for plays. Noel's diving for plays. Like everyone's just everywhere. And I mean, the infield too, we have Caroline. I mean, she saves stretches when balls come to her. We have Sophia diving. We have me diving. We have Addie diving, who's at second. I mean, we're, we are all over the ball because we have Sid's back. So our defense is, we have a pretty good defense. So if I had to ask, so if I'm going to mm -hmm. ask your father, who you mentioned is the head baseball mm -hmm. player, correct? Mm -hmm. Who's got a better defense? Who's I'd say us. Better? I'd say us. I, I, I could argue with him for that. I'd say us. That Those are some not fighting words, but... I would like mm -hmm. to see. I would like to see who's better. If we can get a comment yes. going, I think that'd be cool. I think that would be cool. Yes, that'd be very cool. But hey, mm -hmm. well, it's great to be able to talk about some new talent stuff. I really appreciate you coming on. Yes, uh, of course. As this season, as we enter probably the late, probably bottom half of the sixth inning, right? Mm -hmm. Because there's only a couple of weeks left. Then comes the conference tournament, the SWCs. Mm -hmm. We know about Notre Dame, Fairfield. We know about. Obviously, Massick don't have to talk about them because they just mm -hmm. they're like the Insonia football chargers in terms of just yes. relevance and competitiveness and being great. Mm -hmm. But 
what has been the goal of this team? Because there has to be something that is like the sticking point for this team. I think definitely for me personally, I would say just building up chemistry, you know, because as I've said, I've mentioned it many times, like our chemistry is what builds our fight for the game, what builds for us winning. And definitely, I think a bunch of under underclassmen being able to come up and represent the team. I think that's just really is what it here. And for you specifically, is there anything that you have kind of held yourself? Because being such a young player, there's a lot of pressure on you because of what you have done overall as far as with the team. Is there anything Mm -hmm. that you feel like is something that uh, has been a big reason? Because you've been a big reason for this team being so good. And everybody's had contributions, right? From Mm -hmm. left fielder to the last player on the bench to the head coaching staff. Mm -hmm. This season, this team... You know, there's so much that goes into it. And I wish mm-hmm. they would make books and movies out of these things, especially exactly. at level. But for you, what do you feel like you have done for this team that has helped them as far as for yourself? You could be selfish mm-hmm. for a second. What have you done? I think that definitely hitting wise, you know, I try my best always to like provide hits for the team, like helping us win. But I think definitely in field and again, like hitting, you know, I always try my best and for team wise if I have a bad game you know I don't always take it out on the team I was like I back everyone up I'm always very confident in myself and in my teammates I think that is just a really good like main part of the game you know I think that's wise words coming from you 100 mm-hmm. percent on that one mm-hmm. uh Madison I really appreciate you coming on a lot of fun being able to talk with you really quick one last question mm-hmm. um as I said season starting to wind down mm-hmm. what is the thinking as now we enter the last, you know, some odd games, 5A games, wherever the case may be, because Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're still undefeated. So regardless Mm -hmm. of who the team is, there's pressure on, we can't lose this game because we like seeing the big goose egg next to the loss column. Exactly. How how difficult is that for a team this young? Or Mm -hmm. is it difficult? Because not to say I'm calling young players dumb by any means, but Mm -hmm. in terms of youth, I've heard the saying, and I've used it many times, sometimes it's good to be young and dumb, not to say you're dumb, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just because you, 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 you know, you're just having fun. You don't care. You're just like, exactly. Hey, we're just doing our thing, mm-hmm. mind you. And then, you know, if there's an older team, it's like mm-hmm. they're grizzled and they're like, they've gone through the mm-hmm. winter tear. You guys are fresh and, you know, smelling like daisies. You know, does that exactly. make Exactly. You know, it's just, it's just a lot more experience on the way. And we have a big target on our backs too. And it's just all that is just many learning experiences. And it's like, honestly, for me, and I know other teammates, it's just, it pumps me up because it makes me feel like people see our stats. They see how we play and it makes me more confident in my playing ability. And I know definitely my other teammates playing ability. So nobody's getting nervous at all during games, right? Definitely. I feel like a few people get nervous, like myself, obviously. I mean, sometimes I get a little bit nervous, but I feel like that's, it's understandable. I feel like the two people before I spoke with you and maybe just mm-hmm. I spoke with them, Bree doesn't strike me as someone who gets nervous. Mm-hmm. And Sydney strikes me as somebody who just give her the ball. She's just going to fire it in. And exactly. She's she's a horse. She's gonna they, they're be, both they are very, very yeah. strong people. Yes. They're dogs. They just want to go. And mm-hmm. it's funny, but them being the pitcher and the catcher, it's like exactly prime positions that you need mm-hmm. to softball the most. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're the best duo. I mean, Bree calls an amazing game and Sid just pitches an amazing game. It's amazing. It's it's really cool to be able to see. You know, again, congratulations on what you guys have done so far. And Thank you. Keep trucking along. And I think there, there's certain matchups for conference play that I'm going to be circling. And hopefully I can be able to watch them in some way. But yes. if, if there's an opportunity, if Newtown and Massick can come together for that championship mm-hmm. game, Something tells me that's going to be quite a packed field for that game. Yes, both stands, definitely. Just saying. But Madison, I appreciate mm-hmm. you coming out. Best of luck the rest of the way. Of course. Thank you. I appreciate this opportunity. Always. I'll wrap things up here in the CT Sports Talent Show. So until next time, stay safe. From our CT stands with Connecticut Talent. I'm a journey. Find them all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. And be well.